r slash too afraid to ask. Peace to mankind says. Why is everyone so against Halloween in Australia? I have been here for 14 years and the majority of the people I have known have killed my love for holidays. First of all, I'm from Canada. This idiot fell in love and got married to an Australian. Now my kids have lives here, so I'm not leaving. I have heard door knocking to beg for treats. That's not how it works. This is American. We hate it. It's not. That looks stupid. Then they bring the kids to my door for candy. Stuff like that. It's for the kids. It makes them happy. They dress in costume, say trick or treating, and then get candy. Full size chop bars were the best. It saddens me how many are teaching their kids that only Australia matters. Every country and every human being matters. If someone invites you to celebrate their holiday, why not join them? Learn about other holidays, religions, or even just fun holidays. It spreads happiness and peace by being kind. I would willingly engage in conversation about others. It makes me happy to know what makes others happy. Even if I don't believe in it myself. Halloween is just safe fun for the kids. Parents are supposed to accompany the child. Parents check the candy before the kids get to eat it. I think my mom used to steal my good chocolate bars I tried to explain it on something and got hit with so much negativity that I'm going to bed in a really shit mood. Don't get me started on Christmas. They killed that for me too. I would love your input on this. Edit, I'm not trying to force it on anyone, nor do I celebrate it anymore. Yes, I was born and raised in Canada, and I'm not expecting anyone to do anything. This is just merely an observation that I can't understand. Part of Australia wants to embrace it for the kids, and part wants to kill it. It's so confusing to- Tony Abbott's nipple says. When I lived in Australia, trick or treating wasn't very common, but Halloween was very much a thing. Every year there would be tons of costume parties and competitions and bars would be decorated. Like many things in Australia, it was very alcohol related. Indeterminate says. When I lived in a foreign country that obviously didn't celebrate Halloween, the Americans rallied together and exchanged addresses that were okay for trick or treating at. I think I recall the American embassy doing something as well. I know you're Canadian, and it's far too late today to do much, but it may be worthwhile to reach out to the expat community and see if anyone has organized something. Ermajadid Sipperman says. The county I lived in, what they did was distribute a specific printed pumpkin sign. Any house with that sign was open for trick or treating. A lot of non-Americans participated too. Dembrock says. Oh man I love that take. Can you disclose the country? Still Cold Horse says. I don't think many of us are against Halloween. Trick or treating has just never been a big thing here, so a lot of people aren't interesting in starting now, especially because it means copying America. Peace to Mankind says. It's not just America. That's why I don't understand it. Maybe Canada is too quiet to be remembered. Magic Glitter Kitty says. It's also not an American tradition, the Irish gave it to Americans, although we used to get money from people. Tnsep says. You could host a Halloween party for your kids just at your house. Segufa says. Or arrange trunk, or treating with fellow nan immigrants. It's quick, safe, and just needs a parking lot or public park. Skibbany 1010 says. Australia's one-sided hatred for the us is just beyond. Frick, I'm weird. Talk about self-centered. Mad Max Derbata says. The people in this thread don't understand this, and the Aussies are especially self-unaware lol it's gotten so weird nowadays. R slash too afraid to ask. Sknitzel Nibbles says. Should I go out for Halloween? I 24 female, love candy and am a broke college student. 
I was thinking about throwing together a Halloween costume and going trick or treating by myself to get a stash of candy for free. Do you think I would be found out that I'm actually an adult? Would it be weird slash more suspicious that I would be by myself? Is it wrong because I'm taking candy meant for kids? I just want free candy lol thoughts. Cyclist Thanos says. While trick or treating is mostly seen as a thing for kids, I would give candy out to anyone who showed up in a costume. Tigella Lee says. Honestly, if you ring my bell on Halloween, you get candy. I don't care how old you are, if you are in a costume, if you say trick or treat or not, you get a handful of candy. Everyone deserves some joy and it's just an easy thing to not worry about. Everyone gets candy. Arca Crash says. I live in a university neighborhood and last year there were definitely more than a few college kids trick or treating. In fact one house was handing out packets of ramen. Theko9 says. You may get weird looks if in costume you are an obvious adult, but do your costume right and people will likely think you are an high schooler. Go later in the evening, you'll have less houses still lit but anyone who doesn't want to give out candy to the older crowd can shut their lights off and the darkness will help obscure you. Jerbank says. Do it. Bibla B3654 says. I think any age can go trick or treating really, kids don't need candy, especially not a shit ton of it, so if anything you're doing a favor, by taking their candy it's saving them health and dental problems. Particular Poetry 52 says. I haven't lived in a neighborhood that is suitable for trick or treat in forever, but one day, when it's my turn to pass out candy, I will not hesitate to give candy to anyone that shows up. Kid or adult. I couldn't imagine being that bit lol. Halloween is supposed to be one of those nights that are fun. Satanatix says. Do it and just have fun. Not anyone else's business lol. There aren't like legal requirements or anything for Halloween, so you might as well. Equal Poop says. Just go to houses with the candy basket outside and grab a few treats and scuttle off into the night. You get treats and hopefully no confrontations. You'll probably be on a ring camera, so you may end up on YouTube, but hey, you've already got your treats and had fun. Happy Halloween. R slash too afraid to ask. Page interlumming 4530 says. Urinated in my sleep? I've literally never done this in my entire life. And for some reason I did last night, I barely drank any water that day and I peed twice before bed any ideas why this could be happening? Pibberty says. If you see a toilet in your dream, do not use it. Mr. Original Namiva says. Best piss of your life, then the sudden warmth, then panic. Coral225 says. If it happens more than once, I'd go to the doctor. Macaledonist D says. Are you particularly thirsty at the moment? Excessive thirst and urination can be a sign of diabetes, and undiagnosed people do sometimes go in their sleep, get your blood sugar levels checked. Sivneneb says. Info, did you dream about peeing? I know this sometimes can trigger the body to do so. Page interlumming 4530 says. Actually yes for some reason, now that I'm remembering I remember I was on a boat of some sort and I drank like 50 something sodas, and I was trying to dance, and you obviously know what happens next, then I was in a bathroom changing, and a very rude lady was insisting I open the door, because her daughter needs to use the bathroom in that one exact stall I was in. Mercury22 says. Were you on any substances? If you were on something, that cold done it. But if not, and you are a completely healthy and fully grown adult, that shouldn't happen. You may want to talk to your doctor about it, especially if it happens more than once. And I have to ask. Are you sure it's pee? Could it have been other fluids? Sweat, semen, vaginal excretions? It might be obvious to you, but I'm not there. 
I know I've woken up with dampness between my legs before and started wondering, but then determined it's actually leg sweat. No what hog 3647 says. You probably saw toilet in your dream like everyone else that piss himself in a dream, no biggie. Wolfwitcher81 says. You could also have a UT. R slash too afraid to ask. Zonsa says. Who actually watches comedy porn? Like I'm just wondering who is watching this at legit. Olasmo says. I'm going to now, I didn't even know this was a thing. Robert Ickett and Miawa says. Well. Olasmo says. These things take time my friend. You can't just pick one that you like, you have to browse all of the subgenres, and see what flavor of comedy porn you like. So far so good lol. Nomic Nausm says. I watch porn that's funny a la fucked. I don't know exactly what you mean by comedy porn though. Zonsa says. There's like a comedy section on porn sites and the thumbnail will be like a guy's thing, with a mustache drawn on it lol. Memist says. If it's set in France, I hope they say UI UI. Dry Window 2852 says. Those goddamn lemon stealing, popular girl, s that's who, on a side note my college buddies used to get a kick out of watching videos on a website called Kastuck Gerals. Basically girls all dressed up, but getting off road vehicles stuck in the mud, and getting themselves dirty trying to get unstuck. Weirdly mesmerizing. Rakaban says. I used to see porn as a performance art hence having a comedic slash absurdist element. Quincy15 says. It's only ever watched late at night on a discord, call with 8 other guys and some idiot shares their screen. Proen00b says. I don't know what comedy porn is, but I'm afraid that I'll have to see for myself later tonight. Wfrogs says. Sometimes when I'm bored I search up porn fail moments or funny porn moments not to jerk off to though. Sizzlin Papaya says. Does it follow ha ha guff or path of comedy? Hi Jen says. Clowns? Fruitatoot says. Horny clowns. King of Spades 95 says. It's just something to watch while you have a half mass situation going on with your carrot point lot. Of clown stuff. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.